2,500 year old lost city found under water off India. This is uh, just another evidence of dramatic earth changes that we've had uh, for uh, these uh, this, during this period. We've had the recent the Yonagumi underwater structure found just a few years ago, about 70 feet off the coast, 70 feet under the water. Now we have this thing, 9,500 year old lost city in a gulf off of India. India was the center of a potentially huge discovery when divers accidentally discovered what was considered to be large lost settlement and tipped it to uh, re rewrite the region's ancient history. The remains were found by marine archaeologists in the Gulf of Cambay off the western coast of India. They discovered massive geometrical structures using sonar scanning technology, which sends a beam of sound waves down to the seafloor. The vast region, which measured five miles long and two miles wide, was thought to predate the oldest known remains of the subcontinent by more than 5,000 years, but has been the subject of contention. Their accidental discovery was revealed during Graham Hancock's Underworld Flooded Kingdoms of the Ice Age documentary. The pseudo-archaeologist claimed the end of the Great Ice Age shaped the world we live in today. He said a mass of water poured into the water, into the water as the ice caps melted and sea levels rose about 400 feet. Floods swallowed up the best uh, coastal lands on Earth and all traces of the people who lived on them vanished beneath the sea. Obviously, if you're going to have a sea level rise of 400 feet, I mean, you could imagine what was covered by all this water. Now, could this mass flooding have been the inspiration for hundreds of flood myths from all around the world? Graham Hancock, whose work has never been published in an academic journal, went on to detail why he believes the find in India could be linked to the Ice Age. He said, in India, new evidence from the bottom of the sea is showing subs substance to the myth. Not only in India, we have the same thing going on, for example, off the coast of Japan. He said, this is the Gulf of Cambay in northwest India. In late 2001, scientists conducted pollution studies made an astonishing accidental discovery. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So by testing the uh, waters for pollution, they made this accidental discovery. The uh, tw uh, 25 miles off the shore, a depth of 120 feet, they picked up traces of an ancient city covering a large area of the seabed. Okay, a city, an ancient city covering a large area of the seabed. The discovery threatened to overturn everything that archaeologists believed about the origins of civilization. Of course, because this is evidence now. It's not theory, it's evidence. You've got streets lined with uh, uh, huge, huge, and they're not just cities, they're megalithic cities. They're huge boulders, huge slabs of stone. And who could have uh, constructed the, the, these with, with, with these tremendous amounts of stone? Now, man-made objects from the submerged cities have yielded carbon dates up to 9,500 years old. That's 5,000 years older than any city discovered by archaeologists anywhere. Okay, so you have these huge boulders, huge slabs of stone. Uh, you can imagine how they, how did they lift these things? Now, it means that, he said, we are dealing with a civilization lost at the end of the Ice Age, perhaps even, even one of those that the flood myths speak of, which flourished before history began. Debris recovered from the site, including construction material, pottery, selections of walls, beads, sculpture, and human bones as well, were carbon dated, but not without controversy. One major complaint is that artifacts at the site were recovered by dredging instead of being recovered during a controlled archaeological excavation, this leads some experts to claim that these artifacts cannot be definitely tied to a site, especially as the Gulf is connected to many rivers. So due to this, several prominent archaeologists, 
rejected a piece of wood that was recovered and dated to 7,500 BC as having any significance in dating that, that, that site in particular. Chairman of the Paleo Climate Group and founder of Carbon-14 Testing Facilities in India, Dr. D.P. Agrawal, explained in an article in Frontline magazine that the piece was dated twice at separate laboratories. The National Geographical Institute Research Institute, NGRI, returned a date of 7,190 BC, and the Birbal Sahni Institute of Paleobotany, BSIP, returned a date of 7,545 to 7,490 BC. Dr. Agrawal contested that the discovery of the, an ancient piece of wood implies a discovery of an ancient civilization. He argued that the wood piece is a common find, given that 20,000 years ago, the Arabian Sea was 100 meters lower than its current level, that's 300 feet lower, and that the gradual sea level rise submerged entire forests. Instead, most agree that the divers simply found a large cache of archaeological remains spread across the area. This article originally published by Bringside, it's on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.